Thanks for continuing our walkthrough of Jupyter Notebooks. In our first couple of videos, we became familiarized with the Jupyter interface, and we wrote a little bit of code, right? So variable HW is equal to hello world, and we print hello world, and we saw that how in subsequent cells, um, we can reference to variables that were initialized in earlier cells. Now, another great thing about Jupyter Notebooks is that you can add documentation into your notebooks in a way that it won't be evaluated. So what I'm going to do here is I have created this cell and I've made this cell um, a markdown cell, right? So you can have code cells, right? So this is a code cell, right? And then we can make a markdown cell. So let's change this cell to a markdown cell. And now we can type in whatever we want. And it's markdown. When we evaluate the cell, it will just render as markdown. And so it gives you a way to like add code comments into the middle of your Jupyter notebook. So I've got some here in my clipboard. We'll just tape this type, paste it in, right? This is a markdown cell. No code will be evaluated. I can add a link. Um, and then you can actually put in, you know, this is sample, you know, uh, a code comment, right? Here's some sample code. Sum is equal to four plus four. Plus four print uh, string sum and the, and the value of sum. Um, that won't actually evaluate because it's not going to evaluate. This is a markdown cell. So when I run this, you know, it just shows up in the middle of your run book. And this is super helpful because now you can document what's happening, right? I could add above here. Um, I'll just add a cell right here. I can make it a markdown cell. I mean, this is a very simple example, but you can see how if you have very complicated code, you could, in addition to code comments, you can also put it just above a description of what's going to happen in each cell. So now we've used inside our Jupyter Notebook, we've created markdown cells to create code comments, and we've evaluated code inside our Jupyter Notebook.